What? It's just tea. I hope you guys enjoyed that little skit I did. I don't know why I did it. I thought it'd be funny. Let me know if you guys thought it was funny. I'm not really one to do skits, but I thought it'd be pretty cool to, you know, maybe trick you guys and make you think that I drank some caffeine, even though the title of the video says I did not drink caffeine. But without further ado, let's get into the video. If you guys are trying to quit caffeine, trying to stop coffee, chocolate, caffeinated tea or whatever, this is the video for you. I'm gonna explain the three benefits that I experienced when I quit caffeine. So let's get into the video right now. Now for the first benefit of quitting caffeine, the number one thing that I started to notice was less anxiety. Better yet, anxiety was almost non-existent for this last 30 days and I'm not exaggerating by any means. So let me explain a little bit. You guys know when you drink a cup of coffee, you feel fine, you feel like you're the king of the world. That's how I used to be. I'll drink a cup of coffee in the morning and all of a sudden I'm feeling real good about everything. My mind is just moving at a million miles a minute in a good way. And you know, five, six, seven hours later, it's it's the afternoon now and you start to get that little bit of a weird feeling. I don't know if it's just me or if you guys experience this as well, but around four or 5 p.m., I start to get a little bit of anxiety and I'm kind of just feeling uneasy. I don't know how to explain it. Anxiety is a really weird thing to explain, but you just feel like you're not at that level. You know, you don't, you're not at that homeostasis level, if that's the right word. I'm not sure if it is. I'm just trying to sound smart. And because of that, you just kind of feel a little bit uneasy. Now, these last 30 days, I did not feel that whatsoever, which is awesome because who wants to feel anxiety? I mean, it honestly really really does suck. So that's the first benefit that I recognize and probably the biggest one that is huge for me. And let me know if I'm not alone on this. I would love to hear you guys' comments below. Like I said, I don't experience any anxiety when I first drink the coffee within the first hour or two, but you know, six, seven, eight hours down the road, even sometimes at night before I'm going to go to sleep, I would have this sense of anxiety. And I'm like, what is going on here? Drank that cup of coffee way long ago. Maybe it could be from other things, but from what I've read and researched, some people don't metabolize caffeine very well, and therefore it does affect them later on in the day. And I think that's kind of what was happening to me. And I never used to to be a big caffeine drinker way back in the day. This is kind of something I picked up in the last year or two. So, you know, haven't been drinking it my whole life or anything like that. So quitting for 30 days, I'm not going to lie. It was hard, but from the benefits that I experienced, I think it was totally worth it. And I think I'm going to stick with it. And if I do drink it, I'm probably going to drink way less and probably not every single day because it's a stimulant. It's a drug and I probably don't need it every day. So that wraps up the first benefit, which is less anxiety. Or if you're lucky like me, pretty much no anxiety. So the second benefit of quitting caffeine is more energy. Yeah, you heard that right, more energy. I know you're wondering, what, no caffeine, more energy? That doesn't make sense. Well, I'll tell you what, it actually makes a lot of sense because caffeine has a certain substance in it called tannins. And this tannin compound that is found in caffeine is supposedly supposed to inhibit the absorption of nutrients into your bloodstream. So when you eat foods that are high in iron or B vitamins, these tannins actually block the absorption of those. And these vitamins and minerals are very important in daily energy and overall health. From all the stuff that I've read, you're not not supposed to drink tea or coffee 30 minutes before or after a meal due to this reason. So you can only imagine if you're drinking three to five cups a day, which I don't know if most people do, but from what I've read, some people do drink like two to three, four cups a day. You can imagine that they're having food with that and they're probably not absorbing all of the nutrients that they need to be absorbing due to that compound that is found in the caffeine, coffee, tea, or whatever. So that's my second benefit, more energy. I found myself having extra energy when I was in the gym and I started going on runs this month and the runs have been great, which I think is another reason why I've been having so much energy, just because I stay so active and I also eat a high carbohydrate hydrate diet. And I'm not saying any refined carbs or anything like that. I do eat a lot of fruits, a lot of whole grains and a lot of legumes. I follow a fully plant-based and vegan diet. So I think that has to do with it as well, but I've always felt that energy. So I don't know if it's, you know, a placebo of quitting the coffee or if it's now that I'm noticing the carbs actually kicking in since I don't actually have the coffee boosting me a little bit more, but I felt more energy. And I'm pretty sure that you guys will too after the first couple days, the first couple days are going to be hard and nothing worthwhile is ever going to be easy. So keep that in mind when you're quitting something, it's going to be tough for the first couple days. Yes, we, we know it'll be tough and you're going to be struggling, but stay hydrated, drink a lot of water and find some non-caffeinated teas that you like. That's what I was drinking in the beginning. I got an organic rooibos latte that I made. It's uh, just a rooibos tea, which is like sourced from South Africa. I don't know what plant or anything it comes from. And I put some unsweetened and unflavored soy milk in there and a little bit of pure maple syrup. And it tastes like a Thai tea if you guys have ever had that, but there's no caffeine. So it's great. Now the third benefit that I experienced is probably the most important and that is better sleep. Sleep is so important for overall health and I pride myself on getting pretty good sleep seven to eight hours a night but I found that when I was drinking caffeine I wasn't sleeping that great. Yes I was sleeping those hours but I still felt tired in the morning and I still felt like I needed that pick me up which is just kind of weird because when you sleep seven to eight hours you should be fully rested when you wake up. Now these last 30 days after I quit caffeine I've been waking up and I've been feeling good. I don't feel groggy in the morning. I get right up and go. I don't have that sense of I need another 
another 10 minutes in bed or this or that. I honestly just feel up and energized and ready to go in the morning. So that's a huge plus when you're waking up in the morning. And I've read a lot of people who wake up and they really, really need that coffee or else they're going to be cranky, tired or, you know, et cetera, et cetera. That probably means that you need to take a break. And I know it's tough to hear that, but if you guys are drinking three to four cups a day, just try to cut it back to like one or two and then cut it back to one and then slowly ease yourself off it if you want, of course. I'm not telling anyone to do this. I'm just explaining my own benefits. This is my own personal experience. So take it for what it is, but better sleep is a huge, huge factor. And it's very important in my opinion, because if you sleep well, you live well. And there's a lot of studies showing that if you're getting under six hours of sleep or under seven hours of sleep, that can drastically affect your overall health. Caffeine is known to keep people up at night, even if they drink it, you know, in the morning and whatnot, even though you witness the effects of high energy, right when you drink the coffee or an hour after, it's still a stimulant. It stimulates your central nervous system. And that lasts throughout the whole day, whether you realize it or not. And you can look this up yourself, guys, people who stop drinking caffeine witness much better sleep. So that's a huge plus for me because I'm all about overall health. So if I can sleep better and I can have better health then I'm, I'm taking it all day so that concludes my three benefits first one being more more anxiety first one being less anxiety more energy and better sleep those are three keys to live a happy life in my opinion because anxiety sucks having low energy sucks and getting bad sleep sucks so if you guys enjoyed this video please make sure to give it a thumbs up subscribe if you're not subscribed already leave a comment down below and let me know what you guys thought i would love to hear your feedback or your suggestions or anything that you guys want to say i'm all ears and i respond very quickly so leave your comments down below and as always i will see you guys in the next video deduce